Super Kamio Kande. A huge and beautiful instrument for physics experiments that helps reveal the history of the universe and the origin of matter itself. Numerous discoveries have been made at Super Kamio Kande, including those which led to the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics. Now it is taking the next step in its evolution in order to continue the legacy of breakthroughs in physics. Hida City, Gifu Prefecture, Japan. Here, located 1,000 meters below ground, is Super Kamio Kande. It began making observations in 1996. Today, research institutions from 10 countries collaborate in doing research here. Beneath this airspace sits a giant tank which forms the heart of Super Kamio Kande. In the summer of 2018, the time had come for a major refurbishment of Super Kamio Kande. The lid of the tank was open for the first time in 12 years. With the seal broken, the ultra-purified water filling the tank is visible. Let's see what the tank looks like inside as the water is being drained. The tank is 40 meters in diameter and 40 meters tall. That is big enough to contain the Statue of Liberty. It is lined with optical sensors called photomultiplier tubes. These sensors, immersed in ultra-pure water and isolated beneath 1,000 meters of rock, can detect incredibly faint bursts of light. This is the key to finding neutrinos. Neutrinos are a type of elementary particle. Elementary particles are the smallest building blocks of matter on a scale far smaller than even atoms or protons. One source of large amounts of neutrinos is supernovas, the explosive deaths of stars. Another source is within our own star, the sun, as it produces energy. In addition, cosmic rays from deep space passing through the Earth's atmosphere create showers of neutrinos. Even though we are constantly bombarded by vast numbers of neutrinos, most pass right through all matter in their path, making them tricky to detect. In fact, trillions of neutrinos pass through the palm of your hand every second. It is because neutrinos are so elusive that Super Kamio Kande is located 1,000 meters underground. This shields the instrument from cosmic rays, which interfere with detecting neutrinos. A tiny fraction of neutrinos passing through Super Kamio Kande's huge water tank interact with a water molecule, producing a faint burst of light called Cherenkov light. When this light is registered by the photomultipliers, the direction, energy, and type of the neutrino can be calculated. The instrument contains approximately 11,000 photomultiplier tubes. At 50 centimeters in diameter, they are the biggest in the world, and so sensitive 
that they could detect the light from a flashlight as far away as the moon. The glass bulbs of the photomultiplier tubes are made by Japanese glass blowing artisans with the skill to make the glass exceptionally thin. This is the key to the tube's nearly unmatched sensitivity. Signals from the photomultiplier tubes are relayed in real time to a control room where researchers monitor the data. Around 30 neutrino signals are captured each day. These neutrino observations have contributed to great scientific accolades. Professor Kajita, for the discovery of neutrino oscillations. In 2015, the Nobel Prize for Physics was awarded for the discovery of neutrino oscillation, which shows that neutrinos have mass. There are three types of neutrino. The electron neutrino, muon neutrino, and tau neutrino. Scientists predicted that if neutrinos have non-zero mass, they will change between the different types. This is called neutrino oscillation. Super Kamiokande discovered that this phenomenon does in fact occur. Super Kamiokande was used to study the number of muon neutrinos arising from cosmic rays colliding with the atmosphere. Some of these muon neutrinos come from the skies above Super Kamiokande, while others come from the skies on the other side of the Earth. In principle, the same number of neutrinos should be generated in the atmosphere on either side of the planet. And since neutrinos pass right through any matter, their numbers would not be reduced even by passing through the whole planet. But Super Kamiokande's data revealed this key fact. The number of muon neutrinos coming from overhead was more than double the number coming from the other side of the planet. The explanation for the discrepancy is that during the long flight through the planet, many muon neutrinos are changing into tau neutrinos, which are harder to detect. This finding gave proof that neutrinos have non-zero mass. In turn, this forced physicists to reconsider the standard model, a theory for explaining the framework of elementary particles. This breakthrough led to the Nobel Prize. Since then, Super Kamiokande has continued to make new discoveries. In 2001, findings about the number of electron neutrinos from the Sun were announced. They revealed that electron neutrinos transform into muon neutrinos or tau neutrinos. In 2011, a particle accelerator at J Park in Tokaimura, Ibaraki Prefecture was used to artificially generate neutrinos, which were then detected at Super Kamiokande, 295 kilometers away. Known as the T2K experiment, it proved that muon neutrinos can change into electron neutrinos. After 15 years of observations, this completed the confirmation of all three different possible neutrino oscillations. Now, Super Kamiokande is preparing for the next wave of discoveries ahead. The instrument has been redesigned to make it possible for gadolinium to be mixed into the tank water. This is the newly developed water purification system. The system mixes gadolinium into the water. Water containing gadolinium emits brighter bursts of light, making it possible to observe neutrinos from deeper in space than ever before. Since the birth of the universe, countless supernovas have taken place. 
Scientists think that these supernovas generated the matter that composes our own world, including our bodies. The vast number of neutrinos that these supernovas also generate continue to radiate through space. They are known as supernova relic neutrinos. By detecting supernova relic neutrinos, researchers plan to probe how the stars formed and where the matter we are made of originally came from. <laughs> JPARC is used in another experiment to artificially generate neutrinos and antineutrinos. Then, Super Kamiokande probes subtle differences in their properties. CP violation is the phenomenon that this experiment investigates. There are also experiments not focused on neutrinos, like searching for instances of proton decay in the ultra-purified water. If such an event were validated, it could open the door to proving grand unified theories of elementary particles. Super Kamiokande has a long and proud legacy of probing the history of the universe and the origin of matter. Now it is taking the next steps to expanding that legacy in the years ahead. <laughs>